this is Adam from ProCAD. I'm just going to go through some of the searching tools in Autodesk Vault Professional um, just to help you find files and particular types um, and filter files based on certain criteria. Uh, so I have a Vault set up here uh, with a bunch of different file types in a couple of different folders. Uh, I'm just going to show this Revit sample folder here first. So I have a bunch of Revit files, um, RFT, RVT, RFA, a couple of different file types. So there's a little search box up here. Um, suppose I want to just find all the RFA file types. I can just put in a star here, which is a wildcard, and then put dot RFA, hit enter. And within this folder, it has filtered me down to just the RFA files in this folder. Um, and then I can just hit the X here and it'll bring me back to show all files again. Um, next, if I go back here just to Project Explorer, and I will put the same search in here, star.rfa, and hit enter. Um, you can see it's bringing up a lot. Um, my Revit file types are here and also these folders which are inside in my BIM CDE project folder structure. So you can see this is returning a bunch of folders. Additionally, there might be one or two files more than what I found in the first search around uh, contained down here. It's just showing all RFA files and all folders, basically anywhere the um, anywhere RFA shows up together, you will see you will get a result. Next here we have I'm just in a sample uh, plant three D project in Vault. So I just want to show you this drop down up here. If I select this, I can now search by more properties of the file. So for instance, I have a couple of files in this folder in the concept stage and I have this one here in the work in progress stage. So if I use the state property, now you can choose from any property that the files have and even custom properties. If you're using custom properties like vendor material, anything you can think of really so long as you're updating the values for those properties. So I'm using state here. I'm going to search for work in progress. So if I put in work and just put a star at the end because I don't want to type the rest and hit enter. And now all files that are in the state work in progress uh, are now here in my search. And I can filter it down a bit further. Say I want all files that contain 001. I can put that in multiple properties or I could also hit the drop down here and bring up say name. And then I could put in star 001 and hit enter. And that filters me down out of those sub out of the folders in sample project. Um, I'm now looking at all files in sample project that contain the state work in progress and have in their name a 001 in their name. So there you have it. Okay, so to clear this search, you can hit clear here. That will get rid of everything and bring me back to the root directory of the sample project folder. Um, there's a handy thing here in options if you s hover down here to recent searches. And if you click here, it'll actually bring me back to the last search that you did. So it's very handy to look through some of your recent searches if you forgot exactly what your criteria were earlier and you, or if you want to make a new search and then go back to the previous search. This is kind of where you want to do it. Um, so the next big find function is this find up here. Now this is the advanced find search. So if I use the advanced find, it's gonna search for everything by default. Um, I'll just show you this drop down. Uh, any is everything, but also you can search, say for specific change orders, ECOs, if you're using electric tronic change orders or uh, engineering change orders. Um, if you want to narrow down to just files, you can use files. If you want to just find folders, you can use folders. And if your company uses items, then you can search for items here as well. So we'll just repeat the same example. We're going to look for files because we're just looking for files in this case. I'm going to put in um, state contains work um, and put a star at the end. I'm going to add that to my search criteria and then I'm going to search again and I'm going to go look for um, name. And I'm just going to put a star 001, just like before. I'm going to add this to my criteria and hit find now. And there we have the same four files that I found earlier.